I sense his growing anxiety and reassure him, don't worry, testing for chlamydia is simple and painless. I explain that it involves a urine test or a swab of the affected area such as the cervix, urethra, or rectum. The results are usually available within a few days, I add. In the meantime, it's important to abstain from any sexual activity to avoid potentially spreading the infection. What if the test comes back positive? He asks, his voice barely above a whisper. If the test is positive, it means you have chlamydia, I respond calmly. But the good news is that it's easily treatable with antibiotics. Chlamydia is treated with antibiotics, I explain. The most common antibiotics used are azithromycin and doxycycline. I explain that these antibiotics are highly effective in clearing the infection. It's crucial to take the entire course of antibiotics as prescribed by your doctor, I emphasize. Even if you start to feel better, don't stop taking the medication until you've finished the full course. It's also essential to avoid sexual contact during treatment and for a week after finishing the antibiotics to prevent reinfection and allow the medication to work effectively, I add. Section 8. Shielding Your Health, Preventing Chlamydia Transmission Prevention is always better than cure, I say, shifting the focus to preventive measures. The most effective way to prevent chlamydia is to abstain from sexual activity or to be in a long-term, mutually monogamous relationship with a partner who has been tested and is negative for STIs. For those who are not in exclusive relationships, I continue. Using condoms correctly and consistently during every sexual encounter is crucial in reducing the risk of chlamydia and other STIs. Regular STI testing is also essential for sexually active individuals, I emphasize. It allows for early detection and treatment, preventing potential complications and transmission to partners. Section 9. Partners and Health Importance of Partner Notification and Treatment If you are diagnosed with chlamydia, it's essential to inform your current and recent sexual partners so they can get tested and treated as well, I explain. This helps prevent reinfection and further spread of the infection. I understand that telling your partner can be a difficult conversation to have, I acknowledge. However, it's a conversation that needs to happen to protect the health of both you and your partner. There are resources available to help you have this conversation, I add. Your doctor or local health department can provide you with information and support.